We begin with strong storms on this alert day. Our crews hit the road in Storm Tracker 9 today. They ran into this storm near Coffee, Missouri, just south of Bethany. Strong winds caused the vehicle to shake. Those storms have knocked out power for thousands of people in the Kansas City area tonight. As you look at Evergy's outage map right now, about 26,000 Evergy customers are in the dark. We've also got some reports of downed trees. Here's a photo from our crew near 54th and Garfield, where a tree is blocking this neighborhood street. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Katz. There's also concern about flooding after all of this rain. Chief Meteorologist Brian Busby is here with an updated look at First Alert Radar. That's why it's an alert day, because of those thunderstorms that you were just outlining, what they did. And now we still have one line of showers and thunderstorms still impacting mainly east now of the metro itself. These counties you see highlighted in yellow. Those are severe thunderstorm warnings that are out and they now extend from just toward Bates County going farther to the east and northeast. These particular cells are the ones that have at least the possibility of the gusty winds. Behind it though, not as much of the gusty winds, but still some torrential rainfall. And the problem is that's going to cause the flooding concerns that we have to deal with. So we're going to kind of go from heat from that in hail and wind to talk more about wind that's just going to bring in the rain that's going to be moving in once again from the Kansas side to the Missouri side and ahead of it though that's where you see these better chances for the gusty winds to continue at least for the next couple of hours or so. Then as I mentioned it is an alert day we had two different things we had to worry about the heat earlier and now we have to worry about the strong well a lot of rainfall that's continuing to fall across the area. Here you see it once again, some heavier rain, St. Joe and farther west, but notice how it's more splotchy, not quite as constant. That's good, but still flash flood warnings are out on this alert day. There's what you see mainly to the east and northeast of the city itself, and those will continue until tomorrow morning. That's what we're going to have to deal with. And then another chance of strong to severe thunderstorms on Friday as well. We're going to talk more about that in the 4th of July forecast coming up in a little bit. We are following reports of damage and a bad wreck in the Riverside area as storms rolled in tonight. We have a photo showing an overturned truck on 635 between 9 Highway and Horizons Parkway. And around the same time and in the same area, a semi rolled over in all of that weather. High winds may be to blame here. Storm spotters found down tree limbs as well. Also north of the river, a fireworks stand along Northeast Vivian Road was also blown over. Here's a look at storm damage up in Polo, Missouri tonight. The giant tree snapping at the root, taking out part of a fence. And here's another image of threatening storm clouds over Clarksdale, Missouri. That's east of St. Joseph. Now, only if you can do it safely, send us your storm photos to news at KNBC.com. You can also tag us on social media. Tonight's storms force some people to reschedule their outdoor events, and that includes tonight's fireworks show in KCK. The event will now take place next Friday, July 12th at Pearson Park. With even more rain coming, Lewisburg has already made the call to postpone Thursday's fireworks show. Freedom Fest will be rescheduled. Organizers hope to have a new date by early next week. We'll let you know. And in Blue Springs, city leaders are closely watching tomorrow's forecast as of now. The Red, white and blue spring celebration is set for tomorrow evening. Organizers will update the city's Facebook page with any changes.